from island isolation to the breathtaking panorama of Scotland's lonely highlands. But this lock-strewn land of banks and braes, whose castles and customs and heather-scented air have attracted the world's tourists since the world became within reach of pleasure seekers, has now taken advantage of its winter nature. Winter sports enthusiasts now flock to Scotland. And if skiing or tobogganing isn't in their line, they can always enjoy something particularly Scottish in flavour, curling. Brushing or souping the ice to allow the stone to slide more easily is an integral part of the game. And an expert souper is a definite asset to any rink, rink being the playing area and the members of a side. The object of the game, like bowls, is to slide your stone as near as possible to the tee at the other end of the rink. A word of advice, though. If you're in Scotland, don't liken the game to bowls, a mere Sassenach imitation. If you're young enough to feel the exhilaration of winging down snowy slopes, then start from the Cairngorm peak of Scotland's Grampian Mountains and ski to your heart's content. And if you think that it's a bit like freewheeling downhill and pedalling like mad up the other side, then the Cairngorm's Winter Sports Development Board can prove you wrong. Certainly, it's a long trek back, but now they've provided a chairlift which opens up the entire plateau of the mountain range. The chairlift has been designed to carry 500 people an hour in double-seated chairs. Quite a feat when you consider that in 1947, only one hotelier in the area was prepared to accommodate skiers. The rest laughed at the idea of Scotland becoming a centre for winter sports. Now more than 50 hotels cater for enthusiasts who multiply each year. So now in Scotland, where winter once meant hardship, sportsmen can easily ascend to the level of their Swiss counterparts. And if perhaps there isn't quite the appeal that is associated with Switzerland, you at least don't have to yodel for a nice fat glass of Hayland whiskey at the end of the day.